Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are starting the book of Nehemiah. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. Nehemiah chapter 1. The words of Nehemiah the son of Hachaliah, and it came to pass in the month Cheslai, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shushan the palace, that Hanani, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept, and mourned certain days, and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him, and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thine eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel thy servant, and confess, confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandedest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. If ye turn unto me and keep my commandments, and do them, thou there were of you cast out unto the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power, and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servants, who did desire to fear thy name and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant, this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. Chapter 2 And it came to pass in the month Nisan, in the twentieth year of Ataxaces, the king, that wine was before him, and I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I had not been before time sad in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very sore afraid, and said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad, when the city, the place of my father's sculptures, lieth west, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? Then the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven, and I said unto the king, If it please the king, and if thy servant hath found favor in thy sight, that thou wouldest send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's cultures, that I may build it. And the king said unto him, The queen also sitting by him, For how long shall thy journey be? And when wilt thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, If it please the king, let letters be given to me, to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come unto Judah. And a letter unto Asap, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appertained to the house, and for the wall of the city, and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me, according to the good hand of my God upon me. Then I came to the governors beyond the river, and gave them the king's letter. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me, when Sanballat the Horonite and Tobiah the servant the Ammonite heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. So I came to Jerusalem, and was there three days. And I arose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port 
Ephrathah and viewed the walls of Jerusalem which were broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then went I up in the night by the brook and viewed the wall and turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went, nor what I did, neither had I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that was uh, that we are in, how Jerusalem lieth west, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Come, and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's word that had had he had spoken unto me and they said let us rise up and build so they strengthened their hands for this good work but when sanballat the horonite and tobia the servant of Ammon, the ammonite and geshem the arabian heard it they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said what is this thing that ye do will ye rebel against the king then answered i them and said unto them the god of heaven he will prosper us therefore we his servant will arise and build but ye have no portion no right no memorial in jerusalem chapter 3 then Eliashib the high priest rose up with his brethren the priests, and they builded the sheep gate. They sanctified it, and set up the doors of it, even unto the tower of Mia. They sanctified it unto the tower of Hananel. And next unto him builded the men of Jericho, and next to them builded Sakar the son of Imre. But the fish gate did the sons of Hasena build, who also laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, and locks thereof, and the bars thereof. Of, and next unto them repaired Merimoth, the son of Urijah, the son of Koz. And next unto them repaired Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, the son of Meshesabes, Meshesabel. And next unto them repaired Zadok, the son of Barna. And next unto them Tekoites repaired, but their nobles put not their necks to the work of their Lord. Moreover, the old gate repaired Je Jehoiada, the son of Pasia and Meshulam the son of Bezodiah. They laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, and the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Malatia, the Gibonite, and Jadon, the, Mer the Meronathite, the men of Gibeah, Gibeon, and of Mizpah, and to the throne of the governor on this side the river. Next unto them repaired Uziel, the son of Haya, Ahiah of the goldsmith, next unto him also repaired Hananiah, the son of one of the apothecaries, and they fortified Jerusalem unto the broad wall. And next unto them repaired Raphael, the son of Ha, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem. And next unto them repaired Jedidiah, Jedia, the son of Harumaf, even over against his house and next unto him repaired hatush the son of hashabiniah malchija the son of harim and hashub the son of pahath moab repaired the other piece and the tower of the furnaces and next unto him repaired shulam the son of Halohesh, the ruler of the whole part of Jerusalem, he and his daughters the valley gate repaired hanan the inhabitants of Zanoah, they built it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and a thousand cubits on the wall unto the dungate. But the dungate repaired Malchiah, the son of Rechab, the ruler of part of Bethasarim. He built it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. But the gate of the fountain repaired Shulan, the son of Kolhozi, the ruler of part of Mizpah. He built it and covered it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and the wall of the pool in Siloa by the king's garden, and unto the stairs that go down from the city of David. After him repaired Nehemiah, the son of Azbuk, the ruler of the half part of 
Bethza and to the place over against the sculptures of David and to the pool that was made and unto the house of the mighty. After him repaired the Levites, Rehum the son of Bani, next unto him repaired Hashabiah the ruler of the half part of Kela. In his part, after him repaired his brethren, Bavai, the son of Hanadad, the ruler of the half part of Kele. Kela. The next to him repaired Eza, the son of Jeshua, the ruler of Mizpah, another piece over against the going up to the armory at the turning of the wall. After him Beruch, the son of Zabai, honestly repaired the other piece from the turning of the wall unto the door of the house of Eliashib, the high priest. After him repaired Meromoth, the son of Urija, the son of Koz, another piece from the door of the house of Eliashib, even to the end of the house of Eliashib. And after him repaired the priests, the men of the plain. After him repaired Benjamin and Hush Hashab over against their house. After him repaired Azariah, the son of Messiah, the son of Hananiah, by his house. After him repaired Binui, the son of Henadad, another piece from the house of Azariah, unto the turning of the wall, even unto the corner. Pelal, the son of Uzai, over against the turning of the wall, and the tower which lieth out from the king's high house, that was by the court of the prison. After him, Pediah, the son of Parosh. Moreover, the Nuthinims dwelt in Ophel, unto the place over against the water gate toward the east, and the tower that lieth out. After them, the Tekoites repaired another piece over against the great tower that lieth out, even unto the wall of Ophel. From above the house gate repaired the priests, every one over against his house. After them, repaired Zadok, the son of Emal, over against his house. After him, repaired also Shemaiah, the son of Shekaniah, the keeper of the east gate. After him, repaired Hananiah, the son of Shalamiah, and Hanun, the sixth son of Zalap. And another piece after him repaired Meshulam, the son of Berechiah, over against his chamber. After him repaired Malchiah, the goldsmith's son, unto the place of the Nephinims and of the merchants, over against the gate Mipkad, and to the going up of the corner. And between the going up of the corner and to the ship gate repaired the goldsmith and the merchants. Chapter 4 But it came to pass that when Sanbalat heard that we builded the wall. He was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in the day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him. And he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break them, break down their stone wall. Hear, O our God, for we are despised, and turn their reproach upon their own head, and give them for a prey in the land of the captivity, and cover not their iniquity, and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee, for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So build we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. But it came to pass that when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. And Judah said, The strength of the bearers of the burdens is decayed, and there is much rubbish, so that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversaries said, They shall not know neither see till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the work to cease. And it came to pass that when the Jews which dwelt by them came, they said unto us ten times from all places whence ye shall return unto us they will be upon you therefore 
set I in the lower place behind the wall and on the higher place. I even set the people after their families with their swords, their spears and their bows. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, Be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord which is great and terrible and fight for you, brethren, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your home, your houses. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us and God has brought their counsel to note that we returned all of us to the wall, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth that half of my servants wrote in the work and another half of them held both the spears and the shields and the bows and the Hebajans and the rulers went behind all the house of Judah, they which builded on the wall, and they that bear burdens, with those that ladded, every one with one of his hands wrote in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. For the builders, every one had his sword, guarded by his side, and so builded. And he that sounded the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, the work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall. Once one far from another. In what place, therefore, ye hear the sound of the trumpet, resort ye thither unto us. Our God shall fight for us. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Likewise, at the same time, said I unto the people, Let every one with his servant lodge within Jerusalem, and in the night they may be a guard to us and the laborers on the day. So neither I, nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of God, which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that everyone put them off for washing. We're going to be ending here today. Next time we're going to be starting from Nehemiah chapter 5. I'll see you then.